Day two at the Rio Open presented by Claro and the matches came thick and fast across four courts as round one came to its conclusion. Top seed Kei Nishikori making his debut at this tournament would have the unenviable task of facing off not only against top Brazilian Thomas Bellucci but also his army of fans on Guga Curtin court. And towards the business end of the first set, the home hero was looking to seize upon opportunities to take the initiative. Fabulous, richly deserved first break of serve for Thomas Bellucci. Yeah, he's got that as well. And oh, you don't see that very often from the Shikori. Livid. A set up in the world number 76 smelt blood and immediately looked to go an early break up in the second. Yeah, and Ishikori just looks lost out there. That was a horrible frame as well. One that should have been put away pretty easily, but it's summarizing how he must be feeling right now. There was an exchange of breaks early in set two, but Bellucci was keen not to be denied this biggest of scalps. A break up again, the Brazilian number one was tightening his grip. Made it. He'll get another chance. Has he made it? <laughs> it is wide. It's the biggest win of Thomas Bellucci's career, without a doubt. The top seed here in Rio, Ken Ishikori, bites the dust. So with seeds one and three already sent packing, the onus was very much on number two Dominic Team to avoid yet another upset against former top 10 player Janko Tipsarevic. After an exchange of breaks, the Austrian regained the lead at the crucial moment and was looking good for serving out the set. So unplayable, that return. I mean, the kick serve is wicked. Look where he's playing it from and open court thereafter. So many choices. The second set looked destined for a tie break, but team had other ideas. Oh, very nice. Clear thinking. The second seed, having broken just in time, wasted little energy in putting the match to bed. All in all, that was a pretty good performance from Dominic's team. It's, it's the world number eight moving on in Rio. Out on court one, Fabio Fanini faced off against Tommy Robredo in the first round of a tournament for the second week in a row. Unlike last week in Buenos Aires, though, this time the Italian claimed the W. Fourth seed Pablo Carreño Busta booked his place in round two after a straight sets win over Chao Souza, the Brazilian, meaning both Chao Souzas in the draw were knocked out on consecutive days. David Ferrer stays four wins away from 700 career victories. The sixth seed and former champion sent packing here after losing in straight sets to Alexander Dolgopolov, the Buenos Aires champion now on a six match winning streak. Home favourite Thiago Montero was causing shockwaves this time last year with a win over Joe Wilfred Songa. A year on, the Brazilian number two would have been expected to do well against Gastão Elias in his tournament opener. But in the first set, nerves were taking hold. Oh, <laughs> pick that one out. A set down, Montero would need to use the lively home support to his advantage in the second. made that as well appreciated by the crowd after narrowly leveling the match on a tie break Montero only one place ahead of his opponent on the ATP World Tour rankings was finally into his stride by the decider good response to losing the point before Montero marches on in Rio what a win Another bad day to be a seed in Rio, but Dominic Team stays standing and the second seed will be back in action in round two on Wednesday. <laughs>